All right, welcome back here at Beamer and Sun Garage. We're on here today to show you guys, one of our actual subscribers, one of our viewers, at least I believe he's a subscriber, I hope he is. He wants to know uh, some of the dimensions on the white truck sling. I guess he wants to build one. And it's going to be a task and a half to try to build one of these slings. But I'm willing to try to help him. Okay, so first of all, you're going to have to have some rubber. Um, my rubber straps are okay, 10 inches, 10 inches wide, and probably 34 inches long. So, you're gonna have to have some rubber. Uh, I don't know where you get it at. Um, I got lucky. A buddy of mine gave me a big roll of it. Um, so, you know, I don't know if you can get that at the hardware store. You may have to go to a towing outfit and get that. Then, once you have the rubber, then you're going to start off with some trailing arms. So, you're going to have to have some steel box tubes. And it looks like two-inch tubes, square, square tubes. And it's a pretty thick tube. So, you're going to have to have that. Then, you're going to have to have some brackets here uh that bolt up to the back of your truck then have two ears on them with holes in them for the bolts so this will go up and down with two trailing arms so once you you know once you have the the tubes here you're going to have to have them brackets and then this is i don't know this is going to be hard to duplicate there's tubes inside a tube so you got a tube inside the box tube and that tube is going to be not as big of course in the two inch that's going to be about an inch and about an inch and a half so you're going to have to have two inch and a half tubes to slide in and out now they got some kind of bolt here and let's see how that works okay so it swivels it swivels on that okay, and these here swivel those arms have two ears made on or welded onto them and they swivel so you have to have two swivels made onto the box tube here. Then you're going to have to have two uh, boxes inside this box tube and have it pinned here, pinned here, and bolted here. Then you're going to have to build one of these. And this does not look like it's going to be easy, but obviously somebody did make it out of some steel. Looks like a piece of channel. Um, and my channel is going to be at least an inch and a half. Uh, deep right there for them inch and a half tubes to fit in it. So let's see what we got. Looks like it's going to be two and six inches. No, two and two and a half. Two and a half that piece is. Then you're going to have to make this part here, which you're going to have to have two hooks, one on each side, to make that. And you're going to have to have this whole round tube. <clears throat> and then you're going to have to put some ears on it to make that work. And that doesn't look uh, like that would be an easy task. Then the top part, which holds it all together and does, you know, all the, you know, the raisin with the, with the cable, you're going to have to make that too. And that's made out of two pieces of steel with a couple of hooks on it. Um, and that doesn't look, uh, yeah. And that's a piece of angle, it looks like. Some real thick angle. And, uh, so, yeah, let's see. That's, uh, looks like some four-inch pieces of angle. Two pieces of four-inch pieces of angle. Drill some holes in it, the top, so you can bolt the rubber in it. And here you got to drill holes clear through this, uh, tube. And then bolt that up. So yeah, that's not going to be an easy task to do. So I, I wish you luck if you can build it. You're better off to look for the sling and buy the sling with the two trailing arms used offline. You can find them. People sell them all the time. Nobody hardly uses the slings anymore. I'm still one of the old timers that uh, still have a sling truck. <clears throat> you know, I love this truck here. We call it the white truck. 
And what we want is we want our boom truck back together, you know. We've got to get a flywheel and some parts for that and get that back together. It does have a sling on it, too. But you can see it's probably been uh, two years or so since I've used it. So I need to get this going, wheel lift going, and my twin winches. I need to get my boom truck up and going. <clears throat> and that's where I'm at with that. <clears throat> so hopefully I'll get the boom truck up and going. And I got the sling, and then the rollback dry shaft uh, has some issues. It's too short. So I'm going to get a dry shaft built and then have the rollback up and going. And I'll have the rollback, the white truck, and the boom truck, and I'll be ready. I may buy another truck. I don't know yet. I haven't figured out uh, what's going on with this uh, family will, the trust. And once I get that straightened out, I'll know what I'm going to do. And that's about it. So we came on here to show the, the makings of a sling truck. You know, what what it takes to, to build one of them slings. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to tackle it, uh, to try to build it, you know, by scratch. Now, I do know some people, Johnny Morehouse's old weld shop, Morehouse Welding, Jimmy Morehouse, he could build it. Uh, you'd have to take the truck to him, and he can completely assemble all this, Jimmy can. He's got a great, great uh, younger brother, Jeff squizzed welders uh jimmy's got his son jake that works there too he probably could you know build it you know he's a kind of a you know notch off the old uh you know belt there off his father jimmy but jimmy's uh you know jimmy's one of the best welders uh this side of uh cincinnati uh and his brother of course jeff now of course their, their older other brother johnny he moved on to florida and Johnny Morehouse is a great welder. He used to do all my welding. He left the welding shop. He left the fold of the family. Went to Florida, started his own business. So we miss Johnny. Uh, we miss him a lot. But we do have, uh, still got Jimmy and Jeff. We got uh, Thomas Welding out in Georgetown, too. We use them. <coughs> and uh, so, the old Duster. Old Dusty, as we call her around here, Dusty. There's Dusty. we still got to get back on her. She's airing out right now. Apparently, uh, I guess the windshield wiper seal is leaking. And there's a little bit of water on my floorboard. So I didn't like that. So we took everything that was... All these parts that I have sitting here, they all got wet. And so we dried it all out. And we got a headliner material. We, I don't think that'll ever work. And we got some windshield uh, door... Uh, deals here the the, uh, the window cranks we got a couple of different window cranks for it uh looks like we're missing a screw for one that's an ignition switch this was the boot i wanted to put on and unfortunately i didn't get that boot put on so i don't know what i'm going to do i probably got to cut that stick back off put that on and then put the stick back in so that's going to be a pain in the neck so we'll get to it though you know and I got a wood grain dash. I wanted to put that in the car. The wood grain, it's not the best shape. It's got a crack in it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. This is another little piece to uh, go in here. Ugh. That goes in there like that. So that's got to go in. <laughs> Carpet, it's dry now. So I don't know if it's leaking from the cow. Uh, the uh, windshield seal, the, the wiper arm seal, or if it's the windshield leaking, but it was wet right here on the floor. So, you know, we took it all, you know, cleaned it all out and opened it all up, and dried everything out. So hopefully we'll get this back up and going. And there's some parts on the ground that don't go there. I don't know what's in there. Oh, I do know now. That's that one. Probably all rusty now. This is made to take out a, yep, yeah, this is made to take out a pallet bearing. Supposedly this drives in there and you pump grease in that, and that'll take the pallet bearing out of the back of the crankshaft. It's a pallet bearing remover, and for some reason I bought that. I don't know why, because, you know, I'm never going to probably replace the pallet bearing in this car. You know, if I ever get the, you know, funds to go on to where that I can uh, put a clutch in it, I'm sure I'm going to tear it apart and, you know, check it out. But I don't think I'm going to replace the pile bearing. Unless it's like egg-shaped or, you know, wallered out or something. Usually they're out of, made out of brass. <clears throat> I don't think they ever go bad. I've never seen them go bad. So. 
here's my favorite screwdrivers here these are magnetic dollar store and they don't look like it's working who could no the magnetic part of it's yeah it's still working it's not that good yeah what do you expect out of some cheap dollar store tools you know but anyways uh that's it but that's all we got we wanted to come on here and show you that uh trailing arms and the sling what it would take to try to build one for one of our subscribers one of our viewers asked to uh john i went out there with a tape measure and i you know measured it up and, you know two inch and one and a half inch tube and uh <laughs> some you know some serious work that had to be done to put that together so that's us here at beamer sun garage check out our friends at scott speed shop jetta died his father michael they're pretty cool they got some dodge badass dodge chargers some other cars duster they got a uh, they got a duster too uh jetta die does he's got a a dart he's got some amc he's got all kinds of good stuff check out those guys scott speed shop give them some love check out their channel uh, also my good friend jamie phillips at actions auto parts actions auto parts jamie phillips on youtube check him out we love jamie jamie we're going to be seeing you soon i hope i'm going to come up there with either a trailer or, or possibly a rollback i try to get that ltd if you still got it we need the windshield out of it and who else we got here um Check out our friend uh, uh, Scott Wilson uh, Facebook page. That's uh, Scott Wilson too. He's got a cool shop. Uh, I run a record for him. Cool guy, Scott Wilson. It's uh, Bethel Tire in Bethel, Ohio. Check him out. Also, our good friends at Richard Crocker at Crocker Auto Parts. It's 513-752-8602 uh, for all your car parts, truck parts needs in Ohio. Give him a call. Check him out. Ask for Richard. Tell him Beamer and Sun Garage sent you. He's got Chevy parts, truck parts. You name it, he's got it, you know. If uh, if you need it, he's got it. If he ain't got it, you don't need it. Check him out. Uh, Richard Crocker. Also, uh, we like uh, Bad Tree Productions. Check those guys out. I think there's like three or four of them guys, three or four of them. Check those guys out. And that's it. We're out. So it's uh, Beamer and Sun Garage. All the ones I mentioned forever and the rest never. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.